Hey you guys, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Hopefully it shocks you a little bit and wakes you up to wanting to live your own authentic truth and life and just be able to be you in all of your flaws, all of your glory, and just be able to harness what it is that you wanna take control of in your life. So kind of a weird precursor but let's jump right into it. I've had a lot of people, um, as I've been in this industry, talk to me like, oh my gosh, Tiffany, your body is so amazing, and all of these things that um, were almost hard for me to take in because I don't really look at my body that way. I mean, I guess I would maybe look at other people's bodies and think, well, maybe that's your dream body, but I'm not so sure about mine. Um, although I love and respect and I'm so thankful for my body, I just, don't always look at my body as having a dream body. So when clients started coming to me saying like, oh my God, your body's so amazing and blah, 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 I really had to um, take a step back and think, man, if I'm being really inspirational to women with what I look like physically, then I believe it's my duty to be 100% clear and authentic and real about my body and about the journey that me and my body has been through. So I'm going to I'm going to shock you hopefully a little bit today or at least just just show you my truth show you a little bit more of me and what I am and about my history and I hope that along the way it actually helps women to feel better about themselves and to not be so hard on themselves so what I'm going to tell you guys today is number one I know some people don't know that I've been over 200 pounds when I got pregnant with my son in 2008 I was not living a healthy lifestyle at all I had an outside sales job I was practically living out of my car not living out of my car working out of my car but my car was my office I was on the road all the time um, I was eating a ton of fast food barf um, daily fast food I got really big the biggest I'd ever been in my life I think I was about 175 pounds I'm only 5'2", so on my little frame, that's a lot, a lot of weight. So when I got pregnant, I was the biggest weight that I'd ever been in my life, and I thought to myself, oh shit, this isn't good because I know I'm going to gain weight, and I'm already at my biggest weight, so I know I'm going to get really big. So I gained the normal um, 30 pounds with pregnancy, um, but because I was already so big, I was really stretching my body to the max. My doctor's like, oh, your weight's great. And I'm thinking, no, it's not. I started really heavy, but it's not like you can diet and do all that crazy stuff when you're pregnant, nor did I want to. I just wanted to eat Frosties and French fries. So um, anyways, back to my story. So I was about 200, 205 um, at delivery with my son in 2008. And um, I've always been larger chested and my boobs got so big. I was wearing like, not even double, triple G's and like double F's, all these really large sizes that I didn't know existed before that. Letters of the alphabet that you probably don't want to be in when you're talking about your boobs. I actually called them um, circus tits because they were like, they were, they were that big. It was insane. I don't think it was attractive because it was just too much boob everywhere okay and then of course my stomach got really really stretched out I had I was covered in stretch marks just from top to bottom all the way up all the way down and I swear I, I just woke up with them one day it's like I didn't have any and then I swear the next morning I was covered so that is my body journey story so after that after I had my son I took a little bit of downtime before I started working out again um, when he was probably about six months is when I was ready to just really start getting back into it, getting my body back, getting my life back. I was starting to sleep again, all those things. Um, and so I was working out really, really hard. Um, I started teaching aerobics again. I've been teaching aerobics for a really long time. So I started teaching again and um, eating what I thought was clean at the time, uh, as clean as I could be, not really eating a lot. So that took me about a year to get me down to, um, oh, I was at like 140 pounds. So um, after I got as much weight off as I could, of course I was left with boobs that were down to here and my belly had a nice little, what they call an apron, like a little skin flap happening. And I just knew that I really wanted to make the investment to 
fix my body. So that's what I'm trying to tell you is I had plastic surgery and I want people to know that because I don't want them to look at me and be like, I've had a baby and her stomach looks like that. Why doesn't mine look like that? I don't want anyone to feel bad about their body because they don't know my whole story and my whole truth. Um, and I'm not even trying to tell you pros, cons to plastic surgery. I'm just saying you have to do what's right for you and your body, but I don't want anyone to feel bad looking at me, right? So that's why I'm telling you this because I think that people should know and I wanna be real and raw and authentic and I just wanna lay it all on the table um, so that you guys can feel safe to do the same because we all need to be free to be ourselves. That's what it boils down to. So anyways, um, I had my boobs lifted I'm not going to show you my boobs today, so if there's any guys watching. Um, so I had them lifted, and I actually had them reduce them a little bit because they were just really, really too big. So I also had them put in um, a small implant because, I know it sounds crazy, I took out real boob meat to put in fake boob meat. The reason I did that is because after your boobs have fallen, you never have that original fullness up here, and, so, and I wanted that. I wanted to still have like the perkiness up top otherwise if you just get them lifted they kind of do like a little ski slope thing anyway so that's what I did there um, so the stomach um, it's not called a tummy tuck anymore but I forgot what it's called oh by the way I had surgery it's been about five years ago I think it was 2010 it was 2009 or 2010 when I had it done um, so your stomach basically what they do is they go in there and they sew back up any muscles that still have separation diastasis recti from being pregnant because obviously the muscles get separated. They can grow back together on their own. Yes, they can, um, but sometimes they don't. So they go back in there and they sew it, all your muscles back together so that you no longer have a hole, okay? And some women don't get it, so don't be totally freaked out. Um, so they do that and then they pick up your skin and pull it down and then re-sew. I actually have kind of impressive scars. Um, hopefully you can see this. This right here, is my old belly button ring. So you can see how much they pull down. And all through here you can see, hopefully, um, these are just the tops of my stretch marks. So these stretch marks would have been up here. They just cut around your belly button, pull it down, and then make you a new belly button. So hopefully there's not too much pubes hanging out. Um, so this is the scar, kind of looks like a mustache to me. And it's still kind of purple. Some people, you cannot even see it at all. Mine you can still see, but that's okay. It's a part of my body. Um, it's just something that I felt like I needed to do. I was like, what am I gonna do with this skin flap? Like tuck into my pants, I don't, I don't even know. And this was really before I was even um, as much into fitness as I am now, but it was just something that was right for me, something that I wanted to do um, for my body. And if I, if I had the choice to do it all over again, I would do it again. I don't know, I just feel a lot better in my body. Again, this is not a message on, I think you should or shouldn't get plastic surgery. Um, I feel like I had a positive experience, but I think you can love your body no matter what, and it's about doing what's right for you and feeling good about yourself and being able to just be free with who you are, right? Because it's your body, it's nobody else's. So I just wanted to share that message so that people know the real deal and they don't look at me and think, well, crap, she's had a baby. Why doesn't she have any stretch marks? Well, I do. They're still there a little bit, but... Um, after I kicked my butt in the gear, lost all the weight, I did decide to have some plastic surgery. If you do wanna get plastic surgery, I definitely recommend that you bust your buns, get down to the weight that is maintainable for you. I'm actually smaller now um, after plastic surgery, um, not right after the surgery, but years later, because I found cleaner ways of eating that I didn't know at the time, but you live and you learn. So um, I'm probably 10 pounds lighter than um, in 2010. So um, yeah, that's what I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was enough of a shocker for you. And uh, I continue to strive to just be me. Love you guys.